Hey y'all, let's take a look at what's called uh, negative reciprocals. This is a pretty simple thing to, to look at here. If you have, I don't know, let's say a fraction like 3 eighths, a reciprocal of 3 eighths would be 8 thirds, and the negative reciprocal would be negative 8 thirds, right? If you had something like, a, I don't know, negative 5 over 7, the negative reciprocal of that would be not negative five, uh, 7 over 5, but just 7 over 5 because you were changing this sign from negative to positive and positive to negative. Now, if you have something like this, let's say if somebody asks you, what's, what's the negative reciprocal of, let's just say, 3? Well, as a fraction, that's 3 over 1, right? So the negative reciprocal would be negative 1 over 3rd, right? And if, let's say somebody said, um, let's say it's a stranger on the street who just taps you on the shoulder ask you for 10 bucks to buy a cup of coffee at Starbucks and you say no and he says well then can you at least tell me the negative reciprocal of one fifth you go yeah sure it's just a negative five because it's negative five over one okay and there you go we're going to use that to do our next uh, little exercise here go ahead pause it take a piece of graph paper and graph both of those lines together and I'll let you pause and do that okay you should have done this is plus two, so you put up, there's your plus two, then negative three-fourths, that means you go, make sure your line's pointing down. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, and here's your line, it goes through those two points. I have to make this, you know, the point really big there to make it go through. Okay, this one is negative three, one, two, three, and negative three-fourths will be one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, and so on, and you see, of course, that we have two lines and they are parallel and we know they're parallel because their slopes are the same. Remember how that works? Okay, same slope, parallel line. Now, go ahead and graph. We already have this one on here. You can just use the same piece of graph paper. Graph y, y equals 4 thirds x minus 3. So 4 thirds x minus 3. So pause it and do that. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and re-graph this one. 1, 2, 3 and then 1, 2, 3, 4. And then there's your line, Oops. and that's the first one. The bottom one, let's say negative, what in the world happened there? Okay, so negative three would be one, two, three. And let's say four thirds X would be one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. And I'll connect the, oops, is that gonna happen again? Nope, I guess not, All right. Okay, if you do this exit, okay. There, I have to make that point there big enough so the line goes through. Anyway, if you do this right and nice, you will notice that these two lines are not only crossing, they're actually perpendicular to each other. Now the rule is, if you have two lines that have uh, slopes that are inverse uh, reciprocals or negative reciprocals of each other, the lines will be perpendicular. So we're gonna use that to do this next one. Give the slopes of the lines perpendicular to these. We'll kind of work our way into that. Okay, well, you tell me. There's a line that is perpendicular to this line. So the slope of this line as a fraction is three over one, right? So the slope of the line perpendicular to that would be negative one third, right? The negative reciprocal, okay? How about this one? Y equals negative three fifths X minus four. So the slope of the line that is perpendicular to this would be not just five thirds, but <laughs> five thirds, okay? It'd be positive because this is negative, all right? How about this one? Three fourths X plus seven. What's the slope gonna be of the line perpendicular to that? Negative four over three, right? Okay, that makes sense? All right, we'll do one more. Negative uh, X plus five. Well, what is the slope, by the way, here? If there's no number there, of course, it's a one, right? So you can write it as a one over one if you want to. So the negative reciprocal of one over one is still one over one, but just positive this time, right? So it's just gonna be that. Okay, so let's come to our problems. Your problem, they'll be like this. Write the equation of the line that's parallel to, and then passes through the point. Now we've done these before, if you remember. So write the equation line parallel to that, and passes through that. Well, we know this, the, you know, the method to do this, if your brain ever freezes, don't worry about it, just write y equals mx plus b, knowing that this is the slope and this is the y-intercept, okay? If it's parallel to this line, 
That means it has the same slope. So immediately you can write y equals 2 fifths x plus b. And of course, knowing that this is an x and this is a y, you can kind of shove those in there. So y is going to be 2. That's going to be 2 fifths times x. Well, 2 fifths times 3 is 6 fifths <clears throat> plus b. And let's go ahead and write this 2 as a, uh, a number with a 5 as a, as a uh, new, uh, denominator. So that's going to be 10 fifths. This yunks over there. So b is going to be 4 fifths. And here's your equation. y equals 2 fifths x plus 4 fifths. This. <clears throat> if you were to graph that, and you can go online, by the way, and find graphing websites where you can just type in an equation, and it'll go mm, and draw the line for you. And you could do this one, and you, and you know, and look at it, and you would realize that, oh, gosh, look at that. It does pass through the point 3, 2. Mm, it works. So this will work. All right. Now we're going to go and do something different. We'll write the equation of the line that is perpendicular to this and passes through 3, 2. Well, immediately when you see that it's perpendicular to that, you're going to look at that slope and go, what's the negative reciprocal of the slope? And that's going to be, of course, y equals negative 5 over 2x plus b. We don't know the, <coughs> you know, we're not saying it's the same line as this with this same y-intercept. We're just saying a line perpendicular to that. The way we find the y-intercept is, again, to put in these two points. So we have a y again, <coughs> excuse me, and negative 5 uh, halves times x is going to be negative 15 over 2 plus b. Now let's again go ahead and rewrite this uh, 2 as something uh, with, we'll do a 2 as our denominator, so 4 over 2. So this goes over here, that becomes positive 15 over 2, so b is equal to 4 halves plus 15 halves is 19 halves. So this is our equation, y equals negative 5 halves x plus 19 halves. And there we go, and that's it. So same old kind of thing. The only thing different you have to know is perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes, and you got it. Okay. All right. There is one last little thing we're going to do very quickly. Um, remote interior angles. This is the basic proof um, of what, uh, just very quickly, we're going to knock through this. But they will give you some things like prove that the measure of an external angle of a triangle equals the sum of the measures of the remote interior angles. Okay, in other words, that's a fancy way of saying an external angle of a triangle will be something, let's just say it's E, all right? And the measurement, they're saying, they're asking us to prove that the measure of E is equal to the sum of the measures of the remote interior angles. Remote means farthest away. So the two remote interior angles are these two. So they're asking us to prove that A plus B is equal to E. And how are we going to do that? Well, we know, first off, that A plus B plus C is equal to what? 180, right? So, all right, so A plus B plus C is equal to 180, all right? Well, let me ask you, what, what is the measure of E plus C? Either one of these, actually. This plus that or this plus that. Well, that's also 180, right? Okay. Well, E plus C is going to be 180 because it's a straight line. So that's the same thing as saying E plus C. There we go. Okay, well, if you have the same thing on both sides, C can be crossed out. Then you have an equation, A plus B is equal to E. And there we go. Now remember that if you ever take the SATs or ACTs or, I don't know, a random stranger pats you on the shoulder in the street and demands to know what the sum of the remote interior angles is. You'll be ready to go. That and $8 will buy you a cup of coffee. So anyway, okay, let's try the practice problem. Go ahead and pause it and write the equation of the line. Go ahead and do it. Okay, if it's perpendicular, that means this is going to be a negative reciprocal. So you can say it's going to be negative 4 over 1. You don't have to write 4 over 1. Negative 4, x is 5, okay? We don't know the y-intercept yet, but we do know the x and the y. The x is going to be 1, so we'll say the y is 2. So we have 2 equals negative 4 times 1 uh, plus b, and then b is going to be 6. So we have y equals negative 4x plus 6, and there we go. Okay, all right, you guys take care. We'll see you next time.